How's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is Joseph Treadwell. I'm a Solutions Specialist Director here at Time Extender. Um, over the past decade and a half, our data management platform has helped thousands of companies overcome the many challenges of managing data by using automation. This success has led us to being recognized as Microsoft Partner of the Year finalist for the last two years, as well as winner of the 2020 Microsoft Partner of the Year for Latin America. Today, I'm excited to talk about some of my experience in helping companies overcome the three most common challenges with data in the cloud. So first and foremost, um, we, we're, we're seeing these challenges a lot. We're helping customers all the time um, manage their data. Um, and of course, more and more, we're seeing the necessity of, of putting that data in the cloud. And we are seeing companies um, have some challenges with that. First of all, getting the data from on-prem systems into the cloud. This can obviously present a challenge. Uh, second, being able to adapt um, quickly to these evolving data technologies. And third, ensuring that you can deliver changes throughout the organization quickly and without error. First, let's talk about getting data into the cloud. Now, the reality is that most companies still have massive amounts of data stored on premise, as, as we saw from Bob, right, pulling this data from, from on-prem systems. Most organizations um, still have a lot of data on-prem. And in getting this data over a limited bandwidth internet can present a lot of different challenges. Um, typically, organizations uh, maintain uh, highly secure environments as well, which means that getting in to access this data can require setting up point-to-site -point -to -point -to VPNs or other complex networking systems, which can present delays and many challenges to getting your data into the cloud. So organizations not only need to get access to this data stored behind their private networks, but they also need to get this data moved into the cloud quickly and efficiently. In addition, since it's both inexpensive and infinitely scalable, Azure Data Lake is the leading storage destination for data in the cloud, as we saw uh, in the last couple of presentations, right? Everybody wants to get their data in, and the most flexible storage option out there is Azure Data Lake. But leveraging these technologies um, and operationalizing the file structures uh, can require continued use of, of expensive skills. So how do we address this challenge? Um, first of all, yeah, I mean, how, how do you get your data into the data lake quickly and reliably? Um, by using Time Extender, a lot of companies are leveraging the power of automation to simplify this process and address these common issues quickly. With a direct integration to Azure Data Factory, um, the integration runtimes allow ADF to push the data up to Azure rather than having a, um, a piece of software having to pull the data into Azure. And this eliminates the need for complex networking solution and security loopholes. Time Extender generates a scalable and fully dynamic ADF pipeline that learns and grows as your data source changes. And this enables continued incremental extraction of the data, even through database schema changes. These data sources can be set up in just a matter of minutes. They scan your entire data source, identifying the schema, um, and then build a pipeline based on that. And again, this happens just in a matter of minutes. And not only that, it dynamically updates as your data sources change. We all know we're seeing new fields, new tables being added on a daily basis. Then we need to kind of go back to the drawing board, update our pipelines, well, with Time Extender, it's constantly scanning for these changes and then dynamically updating the pipeline to ref reflect those changes, ensuring that all of the new data is also coming in uh, into the data lake as well. In addition to that, Time Extender is automatically creating and maintaining the folder structures in the data lake, as well as maintaining the incremental load and organization of the optimized parquet files. This eliminates both the complexity and the time requirements um, for, uh, for, for operating a data lake and maintaining your data there. 
Now, the second challenge that, uh, that we're seeing a lot in the field is managing data in the cloud um, and being able to adapt to these rapidly changing technologies. You know, just over the, fat, the past five years, we've noticed significant changes uh, in the technologies that are available, um, but the, the, the proper technologies that we should be using to effectively manage our data. We all know that the volume and velocity of the data is increasing faster and faster and faster, and it's only getting worse, right? It's not getting better. So we're gonna see this continue to grow. And so the platforms used to manage this data are forced to evolve with it. We can't just stick with the, the same old technology and expect it to, to be able to, to meet today's modern demands. So organizations with legacy data warehouses are being forced to move to cloud solutions that are able to scale up with their new demand for, uh, for data storage. But even these cloud solutions are evolving, right? We move from on-prem SQL Server to uh, Azure Data Lake, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, and now those solutions are evolving too, right? Data Lake Gen 1 to Data Lake Gen 2, and then SQL Data Warehouse to Synapse Analytics. Now, even with all of the help that Microsoft is providing, this still can present uh, a challenge for solutions, being able to keep up with these changes. Um, and uh, how, do, how do we address that? Well, at Time Extender, we've been helping customers build anal analytic solutions for over 15 years, and we ensure that our customers' existing projects can always utilize the newest available technology. Time Extender remembers your business logic, allowing you to leverage new technologies without having to rebuild. We've helped tons of companies move their existing projects from SQL Server to Azure Data Lake Gen 1 to Azure Data Lake Gen 2, as well as moving into Synapse Analytics as well. So by supporting these different technologies, um, we're able to simply select and have Time Extender automatically redeploy your complex business logic um, with the, the most efficient script that's uh, recommended for these different underlying platforms. Now, the third challenge that we're seeing out there is also being able to deliver changes to the business rapidly, but also reliably, ensuring that these changes can continue to come through the business without error. Now, to maintain a competitive edge, many organizations have to continue to innovate at a very fast pace. This means continued rapid development, um, pushing changes out to production uh, very, very quickly. Um, of course, we're seeing the, uh, the different processes, change management processes also evolve with this to ensure that we can get daily updates, weekly updates um, into our production systems to, to get new insights into our data. Unfortunately, traditional methods of migrating changes from development to test to production can be slow and prone to error. Oftentimes what it requires is copying massive amounts of code, pasting it in different repositories, moving those repositories around, uh, opening that up to, to manual change. And, and of course, with that, you know, a lot of human error can, can be involved. Luckily, with Time Extender, um, it manages all of the metadata across the data estate, including your multiple different environments. And that means that sending complex code between individuals now becomes a thing of the past. So with Time Extender, teams are able to build ETL pipelines using a drag and drop interface. And not only is your code generated dynamically at the time of deployment, but any necessary custom code is also completely managed within the platform. It's version controlled, um, and of course, it's, it's managed and deployed between environments by the software. And this is gonna drastically reduce the amount of human error that could potentially be had in that process. Once a version is ready to test, transferring between environments is a quick and simple process. Because it's automated, it's much less error prone. Now, if you want to learn more about our customers, the software, or request a demo, go ahead and scan the code with your smartphone and you can take a look. But in summary, many organizations are facing common challenges with data in the cloud, getting their data on prem, getting their on-prem data into the cloud, adapting to rapidly changing technology, and delivering changes rapidly and reliably. But 
as many customers already have, you can easily address these challenges by leveraging automation with Time Extender. And finally, once your data is available and reliably updated in the cloud, building advanced analytics and AI models um, is much, much faster once you have clean managed data available in these platforms. That's all I have. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop that in the chat and we'd be ha happy to answer them. Thank you so much.